Embedding YouTube videos on your site can help you grow your channel, engage site visitors, and even boost your sales. But if you want to hide the titles for your YouTube videos, it can be tough to find a solution that works. But the good news is I'm going to show you the best way to embed YouTube videos on your site and customize it so you can hide the video titles and more. This is by using the Smash Blink YouTube Feed Pro plugin. I'm going to demonstrate using the pro version of the plugin, but we do have a free version available through the WordPress repository, but with less features. To purchase and download YouTube Feed Pro, head over to smashballoon.com. And once purchased, you can find your download link and license key for the plugin inside your Smash Balloon account. Download YouTube Feed Pro and head over to your WordPress dashboard. And now on your dashboard, on the left-hand side, hover over plugins and click on Add New. Then go click on Upload Plugin and upload the zip file for YouTube Feed Pro, like this, and click Install Now. Once installed, click on Activate Plugin. And there we go, YouTube Feed Pro has now been installed and activated. But before we can create our first YouTube feed, let's go and activate the license key for the plugin. On the left-hand side, you'll now notice YouTube Feed. Hover over it like this and click on Settings. Next, beside License Key, you can go ahead and paste the license key from your Smash Balloon account, just like this, and click Activate. And now, our license key has been activated so we can begin creating our first YouTube feed. On the left-hand side, once again, under YouTube Feed, click on All Feeds. Next, go click on Add New at the top to get started. This brings us to the first step of creating our YouTube feed, selecting a feed type. With YouTube Feed Pro, you can create a feed of videos from a YouTube channel, a feed of videos from any YouTube playlist, a feed of videos that you favorited, and more below. For this tutorial, let's go with the YouTube channel feed that's already selected for us here. So we can go click on Next. And then you'll get a pop-up here asking you to enter your YouTube API key. I've already got mine ready, but if you want to learn how to create one for yourself, you can check out our video tutorial on the top right corner of your screen or follow our written guide in the description of this video. Once you have your API key, click Add API key and paste it here like this and click Add. And for our next step, we'll have to add a source for our YouTube feed. With the plugin, you have three ways you can add your source. You can either enter your channel handle, channel ID, or username. For this video, I'm going to demonstrate using the WP Beginner YouTube channel. I'm going to go and enter the channel handle here, just like this, and click Next. And for our last step, we'll have to select from one of these beautifully designed templates for the layout of our YouTube feed. We have options like Default, Carousel, Cards, List, and more below. For this tutorial, let's go with the Cards template and click Next. And almost instantly, we have a beautiful preview of our new YouTube feed. All the latest videos from the WP Beginner YouTube channel are displayed inside this feed. And that's not all, this feed is fully customizable too. And the first thing I want to show you is how to remove the titles from your YouTube videos. On the left hand side under the Customize tab, go click on Videos. And next, click on Edit Individual Elements right here. Inside this menu, you can see all the different elements inside each video on our feed. And beside each element, you can choose if you want to display it or hide it. So if we want to hide the video title, all we have to do is deselect it like this. And instantly, you can see that change made on the right hand side and all the video titles inside our feed have disappeared. And if we want to bring it back, all we have to do is check the box again like this. But for this video, I'm going to leave them unchecked and I'm also going to enable the view actions as well. This way we can also see the views for each video below the thumbnail. And once you're happy with the changes, make sure to hit save on the top right corner. Our YouTube feed is now ready to be embedded on our WordPress webpage, but before we do that, let me show you how we can customize it. Once again, under the Customize tab, click on Feed Layout. Inside, you'll find options to modify the layout of your YouTube feed. Currently, we have the grid layout selected, which displays your videos in rows and columns, just like we can see on the right-hand side. Next, we have the gallery layout, which highlights your latest video at the top, followed by the rest of the videos in a grid layout. Third, we have a list layout, which displays your videos in a single column list. And lastly, we have a carousel layout, which displays your videos in a swipeable carousel, just like this. For this video, I'm gonna continue with the grid layout. And if you look below, you can also choose how many columns you wanna display inside your feed. Currently, we have three columns, but if you wanna change that, all you have to do is modify it and enter the number of columns you wanna display. And instantly, you can see that change made inside the live preview once again. I'll change that back to three. And below that, you can also choose how many videos you wanna show in the feed initially. Currently, we have nine, but if you wanna modify that, you can simply enter the number of videos you wanna display. And again, inside the live preview, you can see that change made instantly. I'm gonna revert that back to nine once again. And if you're happy with the layout of your YouTube feed, make sure to hit save on the top right corner. Next, if you wanna modify the header of your YouTube feed, under the Customize tab once again, go click on Header. Inside, you can see that we have two header styles you can select from, the text and standard one. The text style is a simple and customizable header style, which you can edit down below. Above that, we have the standard style, which shows the channel profile picture, channel name, number of subscribers, and the description as well. For this video, we're going to disable the header entirely by toggling it off here. And once again, if you're happy with the changes, go click on save on the top right corner. Now that you know how to create your YouTube feed, remove the video titles and customize it, let's go and embed it on our WordPress webpage. To do this, go click on embed on the top right corner, pop your dedicated shortcode, then click on add to a page. Next, select the page you want to add your feed to and click add. And now on your WordPress webpage, you'll have two different options to embed your feed. The first option is by using a shortcode block and paste the shortcode that we copied earlier like this. Alternatively, if you're using Block Editor, you can use our Feeds for YouTube block just like this. With this option, you'll instantly see a live preview of your new YouTube feed inside your WordPress webpage. We can now click on Update 
and check out what it looks like on the live website. And here we are on our live WordPress webpage and right in the middle, we have our new YouTube feed displaying all the latest videos from WP Beginner. And our feed looks exactly how we customized with the video titles removed under each thumbnail. And if a site visitor wants to check out any of these videos, all they have to do is click on it like this and it will open up that video inside a light box for you directly on your WordPress webpage. And below that, you can see the video description, channel name, number of subscribers, and a subscribe button on the right-hand side. If you click on this button, it will take your site visitor directly to that YouTube channel with a prompt here asking if they'd like to subscribe. And lastly, at the bottom of your YouTube feed, you'll find a load more and subscribe button. If you click on load more, it will load even more videos inside your YouTube feed directly on your WordPress webpage. So you now know how to create and customize a fast and responsive YouTube feed. If you have any questions about what I covered in this video, please let me know in the comments below. If you run into any technical issues, please contact our awesome support team. They'd be happy to help you out. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel to learn about social media marketing tips to help you grow your business. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.